Hello everyone, welcome to Park Maths. How to solve this interesting exponential equation? That is 9 raised to power x plus 12 raised to power x is equal to 16 raised to power x. So here we will try to find x. In this exponential equation, first of all, we will divide all the terms by this one term. It means 9 raised to power x. So let us divide all the terms by 9 raised to power x. So this will become 9 raised to power x plus 12 raised to power x is equal to 16 raised to power x. So we will divide all the terms by 9 raised to power x. So here we will cancel these two numbers. So here only one will be left here. Plus and from this term and this term we will take out this x common out of the numerator and denominator. So this will become 12 by 9 whole raised to power x is equal to and this will become 16 by 9 whole raised to power x. So we simplify these two numbers. So here 9 these two numbers are divisible by 3. 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 4 is 12. And we will change these two numbers to a square form. So this will become 1 plus it will become 4 by 3 less 3 power x is equal to and here we can write 16 as 4 square and 9 as 3 square or less 3 power x. Now next we will take out the square from the numerator and denominator. In the left hand side it will be the same 4 by 3 raised to the power x is equal to and it will become 4 by 3 square or raised to the power x. Now in next step we will interchange the position of these two powers. We will move this x inside and this two outside. So this will become 1 plus 4 by 3 all raised to the power x is equal to it will become 4 by 3 raised to the power x whole power 2. Now my dear look looking to these two terms here is 4 by 3 raised to the power x. So here we will make a supposition and we will suppose it to another variable. So let us suppose let this 4 by 3 whole raised to the power x is equal to another variable. Let us suppose y. So we will replace in these two terms 4 by 3 raised to the power x with y. So this will become 1 plus y is equal to y square. Now we will take these two terms in the left hand side to the right hand side. So they will become negative. And this equation will become y square it will become minus y and it will become minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. So here we will try to solve this quadratic equation by quadratic formula. So here we will use the quadratic formula. y is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now here we will substitute the values of a, b and c. Here the value of a is 1, the value of b is minus 1 and the value of c is also minus 1. So this will become y is equal to the value of b is minus 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 square 4 times 1 times minus 1 divided by 2 times 1. So next it will become y is equal to here negative time negative is positive plus minus square root of minus 1 square is plus 1 negative time negative is positive 4 times 1 is 4 divided by 2. So next here we will simplify the right hand side so it will become 1 plus minus 
it will become square root of 5 divided by 2. So here we have two possible values of y. One is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And the second is y is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. No, but here our target is not to find the value of y. Our target is to find the value of x. So for that, we will come back to our supposition. That is y is equal to 4 by 3 whole to power x. So in these equations, we will replace y with 4 by 3 raised to power x. So we will do these steps here and we will try to find the value of x. Now first of all, we will rewrite the two values of y here. So these two values are y is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and the second value is y is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. And here y is equal to 4 by 3 whole to power x is equal to this one value 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and here y is 4 by 3 whole to power x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now first of all we will solve this one equation. So here for any real number x 4 by 3 raised to power x is always a positive value. Now but here in the right hand side if we calculate and simplify this number so it will give him a negative number. And we know that a positive number cannot be equal to a negative number. So that's why here we will reject this equation and we will not try to find the value of x in this one equation. And we will solve only this one equation 4 by 3 raised to power x is equal to this positive value. Now how can we find the value of x from this equation? So here we will take log on both sides to find the value of x. So let us take log of on both sides of this equation. We will come log of 4 by 3 whole raised to power x is equal to log of the right hand side that is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now here in the left hand side we will move the power x to the front of log so it will become x times log of 4 by 3 is equal to and here in the right hand side if we simplify this expression so from here we will get the value log of 1.618 now next we will divide both sides by log of 4 by 3 so let us divide both sides by log of 4 by 3 to eliminate log of 4 by 3 from the left hand side so it will become here we will cancel this number with this one number so only x will be left here in the left hand side in the right hand side it will become log of 1.618 and here we will use a log of division property log of division of two numbers that is equal to log of first number minus log of second number so this will become log of 4 but we can write 4 as 2 raised to power 2 minus log of 3 now next part, it will become x is equal to the uh, numerator will be the same log of 1.618 divided by it will become here we will, we will be move this 2 to the front of log so it will become 2 times log of 2 minus log of 3 here we substitute the values of log of 2 and log of 3 so this will be simplified it will become log of 1.618 divided by 2 times log of 2 is 0 0.301 minus log of 3 is 0 0.4771 and next we will multiply these two numbers with each other so it will become 
log of 1.618 will become 0 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 0 is 0 2 times 3 is 6.0 minus 0 0.4771 is equal to again the numerator will be the same log of 1.618 divided by by the subtraction of these two numbers will give him 0 0.1249 here we will substitute its value log of 1.618 which is 0 0.20898 so here x will become x is equal to the numerator value is 0 0.20 Eight nine eight, and the denominator value is zero point one two four nine. And if we further divide this value, so from here we will get the final value of x, which is one point six seven three. So this is an approximate value of x up to three decimal places. Remember that this is not the exact value of x. Now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel. Thanks for watching.